I don't know if you can hear how badly Little Blue is running right now. But we are leaving um, Camp Freedom 2. And even though it's um, getting dark, it's 7 o'clock right now, 7 p.m. I thought I would go ahead and um, do a little bit of exploring. A piece of wood here. Shit. I want to run over the wood and run in, off the road into the bushes. This is like a burnt area, just right outside of the uh, Camp Freedom 2. If you come out here, this is how you can kind of spot where you are. Now, this is one of the side roads that I thought we would try to explore. Um, even though it is getting dark, I think I want to go ahead and try to go out here. This is the way out over here. So, this direction, I have no clue where we're going. I just hope the road doesn't close off. It looks like it does get kind of blocked. But we're going to try to go through it anyways. Um, it is kind of blocked in case you haven't heard all that noise of the scraping. Yeesh. Uh, and there's a side road here that is definitely blocked. See that road connects, but you can't drive through it. This other one has something over there. Some little white thing. I think we might go take a look. Let me shut off the car and go take a look. Mm. Hopefully nobody comes and slams into me or anything. Anyhow, we're going to try to get out and see what that is. Because I don't think I've ever come out here before on this side. It is pretty windy and looks like it's getting ready to rain. Um... You can hear one of the others off in the distance. I had a growling. I think it's one of the others. You know, when I come out here in a place like this, I can't help but think of The Walking Dead. You know, in The Walking Dead, um, wow, the other is right by me. He's like right near me. I wonder if he was going up to the camp. It's like right over here. Okay, he's turned. But I see Pooh here. That definitely looks like Pooh. And, um, it does not look like berries. So, it could be human, Pooh, an animal that eats meat. Now, I don't have anything on me right now but my camera, which might not be the smartest thing to be walking around out here right now. Yeah, one of the others is definitely riding around out here. This looks like a bathroom here. Somebody had a toilet. We could get a nice toilet and bathroom set up for, um... Camp Freedom 2. This road looks like it stops here, though. Uh, that or it got so overgrown because nobody comes this far back. But we know at one time somebody came here and dumped that toilet. Yeah, it's the road. But it's so overgrown. Look how tall this is. This is like waist height. That's how tall this grass is back here. And um, a lot of the, the scat I've been seeing has these little red berries in them, I think. So those must be edible to the animals. I don't know if they're edible for humans or not. Oh man, it looks like a cave back here. I wonder if this is a house for an animal. Like a den. Sheesh. This is definitely not passable with a vehicle. You have to explore on foot if you're going to go back there. And I hear something stalking me out here. I don't know if you can see paths here where the grass has gone down. To me, that's an indication that somebody or something big has walked through there. Like a deer. See, look, all these walking paths. You see that? Those are trails that I think, they don't look like tire trails, so they look like animals. 
big animal. Like maybe a panther. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the sky. It is black and about to open up and pour. And it is 7 p.m. at night, so it is getting dark. I just step on something. Something gets hurt. So, it is really windy out here. And you can hear the thunder. So it is getting ready to open up and let loose. I am going to try to continue to explore down this road until I hit a main road to get back out of here. The um, other that just drove by in his ATV, I don't know where he went, but I don't, unless he stopped at Camp Freedom 2, but he was just right by me. Now I don't hear him anymore. The animals, actually this is, um, is it called dusk, nighttime? It's dawn in the morning, right? And dusk at night. So it's dusk right now. This is actually the time when the animals come out. So if you want to come out here looking for animals, this is the time to be out here. I can hear um, birds and all sorts of animals starting to make noises because this is their hunting time. So that's where we came from. This is the other side that's blocked off. And I'm going to try to continue down this road right here. Um, hopefully we can make it out of here safely. It's kind of spooky. I'm going to stop the camera for now and we'll continue. Onward we go. I don't know if you can hear the crunching sound. That's me chewing on ice. Okay, there's a fallen tree here we got to go around. kind of hot in here because um, my AC doesn't work and um, I got to have the windows up but there is a marking here I don't know if you can see that spot on the road here somebody has marked the road I've seen these little butterfly marks I don't know if they're from um, they're from the tough mudder or what there's another road connection over here but blocked can't really go through on um, car All right, we're gonna continue straight on out and let's see where it goes. There's something big. Looks like uh, somebody dumped their bed mattress here. Looks like a king bed. I should haul that off to the camp, to Camp Freedom 2 with a yurt and have a king size bed. <laughs> You know, the place is listed as a hotel, so one of the amenities is a um, king-size bed. How's that? Can't believe that. Somebody dumped this out of here. I don't know how long ago. Well, judging by the looks of it, it was a long time ago. But I just can't believe people just do that. Ah, and what we see here is a trail. And it's raining now. That's good. There's a trail for um, the others, so they cut through here, and they cut and come out through this side. You know, what's interesting is somebody, one of the others, or several of them, have driven through and made these trails. Just like I've been walking around making trails and stuff, with trailblazing. Somebody did it for the ATVs. Look at all these side roads here. They decided that um, riding on the um, overgrown roads isn't as much fun as um, riding through the uh, mud and the dirt and all that. So they made their own little trails. And now we're coming out, I think, into a more open area, which I think I'm going to try to turn here. I'm debating. I want to go this way. I think I shall go this way, because that way over there, I don't know where it goes. And I'm going to try to get out of here now, because it is indeed uh, starting to pour rain. Now, what's interesting is, um, for those of you who are familiar with this area or not familiar with this area, this this whole area here, it's like 220 square miles of road, or 220 miles of road, not square miles, but 220 miles of road way, is known as the uh, compound, or the Palm Bay compound. And I think about 30 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, in the 1990s, I think, 80s, 90s, they were trying to build a housing development out here. 
and they put all the roads here and I suspect they even cut all this grass so this used to all be open road and grass and then the company went out of business and everything just sat out here and overgrew so if you ever wondered what it might look like in um, a post oh what a post apocalyptic world where people are gone and destroyed and things are left to grow this is what happens to um, developments now we don't see any buildings here so you know we don't get to see the ruins and whatnot but it is interesting to see how nature kind of claims everything oh there's somebody over there driving around I know I didn't get them on camera but there was another vehicle out there riding around and we are riding around lost right now because I really don't have a clue where I am Turn on my light here because it is dark um, but we're just kind of riding around, exploring for a little bit before I head back out of here. And there are other vehicles there, including the police, I think. I don't know if that's the police. To me, that looks like the police. Weird. That is the police. That's very weird. He's sitting out here. I am riding around lost at this point. So, more junk here. I think I know where we are. Actually, I don't have a clue where we are. <laughs> but the car there looks like the police, and I want to go over to the police. I'm going to continue on this side road and see where it goes. If anything, I guess the, uh, the darkness and the overcast sky and the thunderstorm here and the rainstorm coming should make this a very interesting ride. See roots here that somebody dug up. And it looks like there was building out here. Right over there. I don't know if you can see it from here. See the little flat area with the dirt. So this might have been a section that Tough Mudder had set up um, and did some construction or something on. This is a cross intersection. And okay, this goes up to the ramp, which means I think I know where I am. I'm not 100% sure. I've been here before. There's some buckets there that might be useful. And it looks like there's a mound there for the um, the ATVs. I'm going to continue to follow this road and see where it goes. And apparently there's another toilet somebody dumped out here. It's kind of weird. It seems like people just like dumping toilets out here. I, I, I just can't... I can't understand it. Okay... And that looks like the main road up there, because that's the open area. Now, weird, you can see the rain coming down. See the little um, gray things coming down from the sky? That's rain. Okay, and we are just cruising alongside here. Part of the road is so bad. Now, I really don't have a clue where I am right now. <laughs> so, I'm going to continue driving just a few more minutes here. And then, uh, if I can't figure out where I am, it's going to be GPS time. Okay, it looks like some more paths over this way. And more dumping. Somebody dumped a bed over here. And a sign. It's a single. Hey, look. I think this is a single or a double, but it's the bottom part. Now, I think it's part of the queen or king bed. I think I've been here before. Yeah, see, back there, there's um, a portalette that's, like, been taken apart. So, I think I know where I am. I think we're getting ready to come out and hit the main road right now. And there's more side development here. A little side area in the ditch over there. I'm pretty sure I know where I am at this point. 
so we're gonna zip out and come on out. So this is a part of um, the compound that's a bit more maintained. As you can see, they have um, the grass is mowed. I mean, right now it's overgrown. It's about six inches to a foot and a half tall in various places. But it's not totally wild in the um, section by Camp Freedom 2 that's totally not maintained. Now, this road right here, if I'm not mistaken, is the major road. And it's going to lead us out of here, if, I'm, if I am correct. If I am not correct, there should be housing down there. Yeah, that looks like more normal road and housing. So, and here's the middle area. So we're back on the major road. I don't remember the name of the road, but it's like, I think it's SP something. Sporella Yell Yell or something. I don't know. I don't know how you say that road. I'd have to read it, and even then it was hard for me to read. But um, we are currently on the uh, main road heading back out, and um, looks like we safely made it out of here today. Well, thank you all for joining me on the ride. Um, until next time, have a great day, everybody.